StadiumDB.com presents Stadiums of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar Salam Alaikum This year's World Cup is already around the corner. It will be the first tournament of this scale to be played in the Middle East and, therefore, the climate has forced the event to be moved to autumn. The matches will take place in eight arenas in five cities. To mark the occasion, the editorial team of StadiumDB.com has put together a special guide showcasing all the stadiums of the upcoming tournament. The championship title will be defended by the French, and it remains to be seen whether Europe's 20-year dominance will be ended. Before we start, we would like to ask you to support our channel by liking the video and leaving a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you get a notification every time we post a new video. Meanwhile, get on your camel and join our caravan as we embark on a tour of Qatar's stadiums. Ahmad bin Ali Stadium Capacity 40,000 Al Rayyan It's hard to imagine a better place for a first stopover. Ahmad bin Ali Stadium is situated in Qatar's second largest city. Due to its location and surrounding scenery, the venue is sometimes referred to as the gateway to the desert, and we eagerly enter the football world through these gates. The arena is covered with interactive screens, which are obscured by a translucent woven metal curtain arranged in patterns inspired by Qatari culture. From the outside, the stadium is also surrounded by dune-like structures housing the hospitality areas. An interesting look has also been provided on the inside. The new stadium has an unusual seating arrangement, forming a red and black mosaic. Most intriguing are the stands behind the goals, where the seats form a pattern in the shape of lions' heads. This is a reference to the Al Rayyan SC team that plays at the venue, whose nickname is, you guessed it right, Lions. Al Janoub Stadium, capacity 40,000, Al Wakra. Our guide now leads us towards the coast, where there is an extremely peculiar venue. The arena itself resembles. That's left for you to judge what exactly. In any case, we stick to the official interpretation, according to which the designers were inspired by the sea. From the outside, the roof domes are meant to resemble sailboats. From underneath, they bring to mind the hull of a ship, while the seating creates a composition similar to sea waves. For centuries, the people of al Wakra have been dedicated to both fish and pearl catching, using traditional Dao sailing boats, which are characteristic of the region. The stadium is one of only two venues at the World Cup to be equipped with a retractable roof. The folded membrane is hidden in two places, under the fixed canopy above the stands behind the goals, from where it extends towards the main beam suspended over the center of the pitch. The Maritime Stadium will be the venue, like the rest of Qatari facilities, for six group stage matches and the round of 16. Al Thamama Stadium, capacity 40,000, Doha. Heading north by northwest and the skyline of Doha appears on the horizon. Scenery like from 1001 Nights, isn't it? will stay longer in the capital, as almost all the tournament stadiums are located in its metropolitan area. 12 kilometers from the center sits another 40,000-seater. The theme of the unique venue is the traditional Arab headdress, known in this area as the Gafia. The building resembles a Gafia through its exterior, circular form, with a perforated, lace-evoking facade and a flat, ornate white roof. The stadium was created on the outline of a perfect circle. The stands are divided into two tiers, separated by a strip of VIP seats. The auditorium is also divided into two parts in terms of the color of the seats. On one side they are green and on the other red. After the 2022 World Cup, the capacity of the stadium will be reduced to 20,000 seats as a result of the removal of the upper level of the stands. 
one of the World Cup quarter-finals will be played at the venue. Education City Stadium Capacity 40,000 Al Rayyan We remain in the Doha urban area. The next venue on our trail is located on the huge university campus, home to as many as eight international higher education institutions, hence its name. The closed, angular shape of the stadium is meant to evoke a diamond. This is the leitmotif of the arena, also known as the Desert Diamond, thus alluding to the rich design of Arabian architecture. The roof is covered with metallic panels. The facade is made up of rhombus-shaped elements, and their colors change depending on the angle of the sunlight. At night, the facility can also be illuminated. The auditorium has been divided into three levels. The uppermost of these will be mostly dismantled after the tournament, leaving around 25,000 seats. The rest of them will be donated to developing countries. One quarter-final game will be staged here. Once again, we would like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and hit thumbs up. Remember to click the bell button as well. By doing so, you won't miss any of the future content and will help our stadium project grow. Khalifa International Stadium Capacity 40,000 Al Rayyan There is no denying that the World Cup organizers are not making it easy for us to run the tournament arenas. This is the fifth stadium with the same capacity and we should mention that the next one will not hold more spectators at all. But there's no need to dwell too much about it, so let us get back to the point. Khalifa International Stadium is the oldest venue in the World Cup roster and the only one that was not built from scratch. The arena opened in 1976 and was expanded between 2003 and 2005 in preparation for the 2006 Asian Games. During the 2014-2017 upgrade, the east stand was enlarged. There was also a completely new roof covering all stands and new arches running above it. It is the only Qatari tournament stadium to have an athletic truck. For football matches, the circuit is covered with carpet. Seats in the arena are in the national colors, white and maroon, with grey added for a more interesting effect. On the upper tiers of the auditorium along the pitch, they are arranged in the characteristic triangles, familiar from the Qatari flag. The venue will play host to the match for third place. Stadium 974, capacity 40,000, Doha. The next ground on our list is located right on the coast of the Persian Gulf. Of particular note is its unusual architecture, which from a distance gives the impression of having been built from Legos. It is the first temporary stadium in the history of the World Cup, built specifically for the event. A large number of steel elements, prefabricated components and recycled shipping containers were used to build the arena. The choice of materials and the temporary state of the venue allowed costs to be significantly reduced. Most interesting is the use of containers which proved to be an innovative solution for the construction of such a large stadium. The huge boxes are reminiscent of Doha's seaport traditions. There are exactly 974 containers used in the structure, a number which is no coincidence. It is, after all, the area code for Qatar. After the tournament, the facility will be demolished and the site transformed into a green area. Al Bayt Stadium, capacity 60,000, Al Khor. We find ourselves in the northernmost stadium of the World Cup. After such a long trek, it seems we could not have come to a more suitable place, as a caravan stopped in front of a gigantic tent. The stadium has been encased in an original facade, connected to the roof, the shape of which sets the theme of the venue a traditional Bedouin tent, the so-called Bayt al-Shah, hence the name. The exterior is white, with horizontal black stripes running all around, symbolizing the tribes and families that used similar structures. 
The tent surrounding the stands was created on a rectangular plan, and its dimensions exceed the size needed to cover the auditorium. The venue is the second arena of the championships to feature a retractable roof. The seats in the auditorium are predominantly red, and the color scheme is enhanced by black horizontal stripes with traditional Bedouin sadhu patterns. This motif is also repeated in the interior decoration of the stadium. The venue will host the opening ceremony and the first match of the tournament, which will take place on November the 20th. The host's rival will be Ecuador. In addition to the group matches and one round of 16 game, there will also be a quarter-final and a semi-final staged here. Lusail Stadium. Capacity 80,000. Lusail. The final stop on our tour is one of the largest stadiums in the Middle East, the venue for the second semi-final and the grand final of the World Cup. The facility was built on the outskirts of the capital in the futuristic city of Lusail. The architectural concept is based on local folkloric motifs. The form of the building is reminiscent of a traditional ball, and the triangular patterns on the golden facade were inspired by lamps formerly used in Qatar. In addition, the roof membrane has been shaped to create a bird's-eye view ornament made up of numerous rhombuses. The 45,000 square meter roof is one of the largest of its kind in the world. The stadium's high stands are divided into only two tiers. Each has an internal division into halves to improve communication and offer optimized positioning of pedestrian walkways or places for the people with disabilities. The final concept was kept secret for a long time and was made public when construction was already at an advanced stage. After the World Cup, the capacity will be reduced to 40,000 spectators. Our caravan managed to happily reach the end of the voyage. Qatar is a fascinating and beautiful country with a rich cultural heritage. However, the staging of the 2022 World Cup is undoubtedly a controversial issue, and it is no wonder that some have urged to boycott it. But let us give the organizers a chance and enjoy the beauty of football. After all, that is what we are here for. Don't forget to let us know in the comments section which stadium you like best. Remember to subscribe to our channel as well. Alaikum Salam!